Hello, it's Thursday, July 19th, 2012, and I'm Tony Christopher with the daily outlook from UFX Markets. We begin with the U.S. stock market. Wall Street closed the trading day in the green after some companies reported profits that beat estimates. The Nasdaq rose by 1.65 percent, the Dow Jones gained by 1.116 percent, and the S&P closed positive, gaining by 0.87 percent. The U.S. dollar fell versus most of the major currencies after the Federal Reserve Chairman Bernanke repeated to Congress that the central bank is ready to take some more steps to boost the economy if necessary. The building permits came out at 0.76 million, almost as expected at 0.7 million, and the housing starts came out at 0.76 million, better than the expected 0.74 million. Today, the unemployment claims is expected to come out at 367K versus 350K previously. The exciting home sales is expected to come out at 4.64 million, higher than the previously, and the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index is expected to come out better than the expected at seven, minus 7.9 7 versus minus 16.6 previously. The euro fell after German can Chancellor Angela Merkel said the European project is at risk unless policymakers work harder. With the euro dollar, the general trend is bearish towards the strong support level at 1.20 today. The current account is expected to come out at 5.3 billion versus 4.6 billion previously. British pound now, the cable fell by 0.09% after the Bank of England said interest rate cuts may be appropriate. The pair may test the next resistance level of 1.5720. In addition, according to the moving average indicator, the trend will remain bullish. The claim and count change came out at 6.1K. The MPC meeting minutes came out as expected at 009. And the unemployment rate came out 8.1% better than expected at 8.2%. Today, the retail sales is expected to come out 0.06% versus 1.4% previously. Finally, we turn to commodities. Gold declined by 0.70% to $1,573 an ounce, and crude oil rose by 0.97% yesterday to $90.20 a barrel after the crude oil inventories came out minus 0.8 million lower than the forecast at 0.5 million. This has been its longest winning streak since April. Well, that's it for today. I'm Tony Christopher for the Daily Outlook. Be sure to find out more at ufxmarkets.com. <music>